Well, I'm here now at the Teledyne Seabotics stand, and I'm here with Cyril Poissonnet. You are going to explain to me this fascinating setup of equipment here. To me, to the untrained eye, it looks like a toy, but my goodness, it, it is not. <laughs> no, it's a toy that's uh, used in the offshore oil and gas industry for uh, all your underwater inspections. So um, these are actual size vehicles um, and they're man portable. That means that we can easily deploy them uh, from a boat or from the side of a platform or from a ship and uh, deploy the robot. Which these are underwater submarine. We deploy them in the water and then they can provide video real time to the surface okay. using the control console that you see here. So your operator sits in front of the console and uses this handheld controller to control the robot. And on the display, you can see some feedback about the uh, ROV status, how deep it is, um, the power used by the thrusters, the level of the lights. And unfortunately, this is not a good time in that video right now, but over here, you can see some sonar imagery. On the screen right now, you have oh, a, yes, yeah. an imaging sonar that shows an airplane that uh, this ROV is uh, finding and then inspecting. And you can see, this is the video here. And because we are in very murky water, there's no video image yet, yet you can see it on the uh, acoustic imagery. And it's incredible to think of something so small because this isn't a scaled down version, this is the actual size. Correct. In such pitch black conditions, being able to do this so accurately. That's right. And uh, not only are they, do they give you the capability to go in, uh, in places where you would normally not put a larger vehicle, uh, they give you the ability to see through murky water. And um, if you think about it, a lot of the larger world class ROV, when they're not producing work, they just use video and the quality of the video that is provided by small vehicle is the same that sends on the larger vehicles. So this provides a capability at a reduced size and cost. So have you had quite a lot of interest in uh, your equipment at Offshore Europe so far? Yes, we like uh, Offshore Europe because it's a very targeted, uh, focused trade show. And um, most of the customers that we have or want in the industry uh, are represented here in some way or shape and the attendance is typically very good. Well, that's excellent. Thank you so much for showing us your equipment. It's absolutely fascinating. You're very welcome. Thanks for talking to us. Bye-bye.